Hi guys, it's David here from One Step at a Time and today I'm going to be making a quick video on how to create a bootable USB in Windows 10 using command prompt and um, the first thing you need to do is press the Windows key plus X and go into command prompt admin say yes and you get your command prompt open here and the first thing we're going to do is go into disk park this part, excuse me. Then we're going to list disk. And then, as you can see, um, I'm going to be using this 8 gigabyte USB flash drive for it, so it's disk one. So. Select this one, hit enter. And now everything we do is on that selected disk. So what we're going to do is Going to run a clean on that so if you have anything on this or on your usb drive make sure you back it up so just type clean and hit enter and it's successfully cleaned it now what we're going to do is create a partition so let's say create partition primary Hit enter and it's created the partition now we want to um, format it so we're going to format it fat32 format file system equals fat32 and you could put a label if you wanted to the back of this so um, I'm going to be doing Linux so I'll just put a label of label equals Linux and at the end I'm going to do a quick format so it doesn't take forever and then just hit enter and because I put quick in it it should only take a couple of seconds and there we are now the next thing we want to do is we want to select that partition now it's going to be number one all the time once you uh, you're only using the one USB and you're not using a particular partition within that hard drive or within the USB, should I say? So we're going to just say you don't have to, but if you list, it'll list the partitions. And as I was saying, it's partition one. So just say select partition one. I know it's the selected one, so it was selected anyway because it had the star beside it, but just for the purposes of making double sure you're working on the right one so and now we're going to have to make this partition active you will need to have an active partition if we're going to be putting a boot on it so we're just going to say active and now it's active and we're just going to say sign a letter sign and it pops up so it's going to be a linux d so that's fine. I'm going to minimize that. And that's it. I'm just going to exit. And once you're back out onto your screen here, just open up. This is my Linux. And then I'm going to be opening up um, my downloads. There it is. So I'm just going to open up. New window. I'll just put these like that so you can see. And then for the Linux, I'm just going to right click on that and just say mount. You could use Xcopy if you wanted to from command. It's just handy to do it this way. So once you click mount, it'll give you all these. Just uh, highlight them all and drag them across and drop them into your Linux folder. And just wait for everything to copy over. I'll just pause the video for a second while this is doing this and I'll be back to you in a second. And that's it, guys. Once it's finished, copy in. You're done. Just make sure you um, safely unplug your USB so and eject it and then restart your computer and then you can just boot in from your BIOS then to your USB. So hope you liked the video. If you did, hit the like, subscribe and I will catch you in the next one. Cheers, bye.